Greetings and welcome to another episode of the President's Top 13, where we're celebrating the top 13 scholars of this year's graduating class of 2022. World and the Virginia Union family, I would like to introduce you to Devin Sims, a 4.02 GPA holder from the School of Business, double majoring in accounting and entrepreneurship management. Devin, welcome to the President's Top 13. Thank you for having me. Would you like to introduce yourself to the world? Uh, yes, yeah, so my name is Devin Sims. I'm from Northern Virginia, currently double majoring in accounting and business entrepreneurship management, um, play on the men's basketball team, and obviously have a cumulative GPA of a 4.02. I have aspirations of being an auditor and um, future-wise for this summer being an uh, intern at KPMG in uh, Tyson's Corner. Virginia. So tell me a little bit, brother, how did you get to Virginia Union, Devin? Um, so I got to Virginia Union through basketball. Um, at the current time, I was in New York and I wanted to come home due to uh, family reasons. And uh, Coach Butler had given me a call asking me if I wanted to come. And I always had aspirations of being at an HBCU. My mom went to Kentucky State and her family went to other HBCUs. Um, my cousin went to Morehouse, so I was just, they was always, um, really pushing me to a HBCU saying, get that experience, you won't, you won't regret it. So I decided to push forward and like they said, I don't regret it at all. <laughs> what was Virginia Union experience like? Um, best word I can describe it is phenomenal. Uh, another word would be amazing. Uh, I really won't ever forget it. Um, even during homecoming, um, alumni would always come and visit and they would introduce themselves and pretty much make me feel like I was family and I never met them ever. So I was just like, that was a great feeling. And um, just being on campus, everybody is saying hello and just welcoming. So that was just, it just felt great. And it felt like I was at home. So you were able to earn a 4.02 during one of the worst global pandemics in the world's history. How did you do it? Um, honestly, it was just a lot of concentrating, being disciplined, and prioritizing my time. Uh, juggling academics on top of being a double major, you have to do an overload of courses. Um, so I was taking more than 18 credits and then on top of that, playing basketball. Um, so it was a lot of like sleepless nights and just making sacrifices. Well, what does it mean to you to be a scholar athlete? Uh, it means everything. Uh, it's just changing the quota because a lot of times athletes and high GPA, that doesn't really match. So I wanted to make it a normal where you're being an athlete and still having a high GPA and people won't be as shocked. What does it mean to be on that Panther team and a part of that basketball legacy? <sighs> that means everything. Like, uh, obviously we didn't win the whole thing, but we definitely had a lot of hardware to take with us. Uh, we went up to Connecticut, won the first uh, annual CP3 tournament, won the Battle of 95, uh, number one in the Northern Division. Uh, still we have more, more to come, so Definitely, I'm glad I was able to leave a legacy here. And also, I forgot to mention, I am coming back to uh, get my master's in uh, business administration and have that one more year push to uh, win the whole thing in CIs and go to the NCAA tournament and win the whole thing. And so, as you talk about that future and what you plan on doing, what, what excites you more about the next step after 5722? The most thing that excites me the most is uh, just showing everybody who invested in me that uh, I was able to make them proud and just show that I wouldn't have got there without them. So graduation is the day before Mother's Day with me graduating with two degrees. I plan on giving that to my mom and like, just telling her thank you so much because without her, I wouldn't even be here. Uh, same with God too. As a member of the President's Top 13, uh, this is sponsored by the First Thursdays Group. First Thursday group is a group of alum from Virginia Union who are members also of Phi Beta Sigma fraternity. And as a part of their sponsorship, they have made it possible that every member of the President's Top 13 also will get a $1,300 check to go with them at graduation. So I wanted to say, uh, Devin Sims, congratulations on behalf of the First Thursday group and hopefully uh, you'll be excited uh, to thank them also. Thank you so much, First Thursday Group. I'm beyond blessed. The money will be used very wisely. Uh, Devin, so you're now a role model. You are a part of the Virginia Union Mystique, 
and you are carrying the legacy of academic excellence and student success as a member of the president's top 13. What advice do you have to freshmen, sophomore, junior, seniors, scholar athletes about how they can also enjoy the success that you've achieved? Um, I would say just hard work. Um, just know there's, there's a finish line, but at the same time, just enjoy the journey. Uh, it's going to be ups and downs, but always stay level-headed. And from there, having a great supporting group, um, pushing you, uh, the sky's the limit. Devin Sim, thank you for being one of the president's top 13. Thank you. <laughs>